morning everyone we are going out for a standard test loop to Carl Sandburg home Let's see what it does around this corner here okay. gotta watch our GPS here it seemed like I was trying to get a little bit off it, what's odd is it's dead on um, when we start and then it starts drifting and that's what it's doing right now Yeah. They even mentioned in the release notes that when the GPS and navigation gets off, it recovers more gracefully. So hopefully it can maintain this route until the GPS locks back on. But yeah, um, back to beginning, uh, intro introduction. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. I appreciate any new subscribers, and I definitely appreciate the ones that are still watching me, even though the beta is out. If you do have the beta, please comment down below uh, if you have it not, uh, if you have it yet, or if you are still waiting on that to come in. Um, it seems like they're doing a much more gradual release. Maybe I just got lucky on this one, or maybe it's based on geography. I'm almost positive I am the only one in this area to have full so That was almost a disengagement. This is better, uh, unless it starts going towards the right. Uh, okay, no. Uh, this is about this is about the same um, as it was before. Like I was saying, it could be geography that could have to do with uh, who gets the beta. High curvature detected. It wasn't really that high of a curve, was it? That was a little bit better merging onto the highway, especially when you look at the sun. I mean, it doesn't block the road or the view from the cars, but I'm sure that big ball of light um, definitely confuses the computer a little bit. to get off the highway everyone um never get on a pilot as good as it's always been um no hiccups no phantom braking that definitely seemed to be an issue with 10.3 10, even 10.3.1 there's still some weird phantom braking issues with shadows and everything so it appears this version is um corrected that Let's see how it gets off the exit here still too fast in my opinion it shouldn't need to use full region but it is, I think it is slightly better than 10.3 at one was. It's still choosing to get in the left lane automatically, which from my point of view is a good thing. And a very good slowdown to the light. Very good left turn. And so this is automatic, this speed change here. The speed limit is 45 on this road. And I, I, it's so odd that it does it in this area. I think they hard-coded that in because what I used to do is mainly, uh, I used to lower the speed and mainly up it. So it didn't just launch to 45 mile an hour. Because in this area, there's a lot of cars and traffic because of the gas stations. It shouldn't just speed automatically up to 45 right there. You don't just go 45, especially if you have an offset 50 mile an hour. It's too fast for that area. So it's, what it did was 100% per perfect. Uh, at least for my driving style and my comfort. I think that is very appropriate how it's sped up uh, slowly for that, that uh, area. So normally I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at um, five mile an hour over right here. That is what I normally have my offset. I find the beta to drive much better uh, just doing the speed limit. And in areas like this where it's just a you no, know, um, four lane divided highway like this or um, then uh, you can just go over and it's not not a lot of lights to have to stop for and all that stuff this light up here always seems to have trouble because it doesn't see it around the bin and doesn't react quick enough 
So a brake for that card is still breaking. That's a downgrade. That's a um, definite downgrade. 10.3.1 wouldn't break at all, even like very close for some reason to that car, um, which is almost too much, if you will. But this did, did a very good job. And what we're gonna see here, as you can see, the map data is still wrong. Um, we're gonna see if it tries to. Yep. Yeah. This is wrong. Again. Every time this is wrong. Because what it's gonna do is right here, this lane merges into this lane right here. You need to be in the left lane. And so it's only it's strictly because of the map data why it's wrong. Because this is this isn't right at all. That is like this jog is it that's exactly why it does this every single time and it's wrong. I'll show you. There's not a car around me, so I'm just gonna let it do its own thing. I'll show you what Wow, that's very okay. That's that's not you never should do that. Uh, at least in my opinion. You should never cross in the middle of an intersection and you should never um uh you shouldn't just even need to change lanes there. Let's see if it's gonna slow for this railroad track up here. Normally it doesn't. Well, it slowed for that car, and it's speeding back up. Yeah, see, it went over the railroad track uh, and crossed the yellow line because it didn't. It, it has to predict where the road's going to go, and it can't see that. So the road actually jogs to the right because I know I've driven this before, so I know that's where the road goes. But also, you should slow down going over a railroad track so it gives you more time to react to how the road changes. Again, uh, improved, improved around corners. Um, it just seems overall smoother around curves, and uh, it doesn't slow down and speed back up as much, which is much more pleasant from my from the passenger point of view. Now we got this guy on the side of the road. What the heck are you doing, dude? <laughs> there's a okay. There, there's a trail off to the right over here, like, in like a park. And I don't know why he's on the road instead of there. Um, maybe he's running or to the park a different way. So that's kind of odd. Let's see how it stops for this light here. Uh, Model Y. Ooh, that was the first time I've ever had hesitancy there. Um, sometimes I wonder if it's because it doesn't see me directly looking out the front. I very much... Um, whether or not this is a bad thing, I don't know. I'm always have my peripheral vision looking forward. Like if I'm looking right here, I'm always have my peripheral vision is looking forward. I'm always aware of what's in front of me, even if I'm looking here. Like I don't just stop looking forward when I'm looking at the screen right here. I'm always seeing is there a car coming? If there's a car coming, I immediately start looking forward again because I need to make sure what that car in front of me is gonna do. And so this, the camera looks to see if I'm looking away at all. Like right now I'm looking at the, the car on the screen, but I can still see if there's a car coming. There's right there. There's a car coming. So it's not like I'm not looking at the road. But the the camera up here just thinks otherwise. And so it always beeps at me because I'm looking at the screen to kind of see what this is trying to do. Even though it doesn't realize I'm also looking at the road at the same time. Let's see how it slows for this speed limit. That needs to be improved. Like, look, uh, it goes down to 25. Look how slow it's going down. It just, it needs to slow down sooner. Let's see how it does on this. More hesitancy. See, when it stops at the light and goes, it does it great. But when it has to, um, has to go through the green light and slow down it just doesn't do well and uh, everyone my memory is going really bad <laughs> I believe this was a zero dis disengagement drive and so that's good um, definitely not an overall downgrade I don't see many improvements to this drive like I normally do um, fortunately today strictly this is gonna be just a quick round trip through here 
Uh, so this is going to be the end of this segment. Uh, this is going to be the end of this segment, and then we are going to continue on to um, our normal test route through downtown Hendersonville, and then on to Aldi, and then from there. Uh, if you have questions for me, as always, I'm glad to see any new people here. Uh, please put your questions down below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.